Hi, I am Dr. Vidya Shankar. I am consultant nephrologist and renal transplant physician at Nephro Euro Clinic and Astor CMA Hospital, Bangalore. The nephrotic syndrome is a very broad entity. It depends upon what is the underlying disease or pathology. And each condition will take its own time for the remission, what you call as our ultimate target is the proteins in the urine should be less than 500 mg, the blood pressure should be less than 130-80, the serum protein should become normalized. That is when we call the patient is completely cured of nephrotic syndrome. So there are two separate entities, one is in children and adults. In children it is most commonly it is minimal chain nephrotic syndrome and it usually it responds to steroids. So 90% of the patients respond to steroids. And when the child becomes maybe around 15 to 18, the whole process will become normal. The remission will happen and the child, the, the relapse, that is the recurrence of protein media is very, very rare. And if it is a minimal chain nephrotic syndrome, that constitutes more than 90% of the cases. But whereas in adults, it might take a very long time, the average is, it might take at least 5 to 7 years. Most of the adults, they require treatment lifelong and once they achieve remission, usually we don't stop. Especially in females, if they want to get pregnancy, then we might have to think of stopping these drugs. Otherwise, we have to continue these drugs too for a lifelong. Otherwise, the relapse rates are very, very high in adults.